Hello and welcome. It's Nancy Ray here. And in today's little fun tidbit, I want to talk to you guys about fear. And this is kind of a buzzword, right? A lot of people talk about overcoming your fears and facing your fears and everything you want is just outside your comfort zone. And there's something that's so important for us to remember and to be reminded of and to remind ourselves of. Um, and before I jump into this, I want to give a shout out. This epic painting you see in the background, it's called, its name is Embrace, and it is by Miss Sharon White, the artsy Aussie, and it is for sale. So I know you guys see it in the background of some of my stuff sometimes and are probably wondering. So let's jump in and talk about this. Fear. Fear people look at people that are going and doing big things. Maybe for you, something that's really scary is going live or posting about your new program or making phone calls or interfacing with clients or going to that networking event, right? Maybe that's your big fear. And people look at people who are doing the thing they're afraid of and they assume and think that they just must not be that scared about it or not as scared as they are. And that's usually not the case. So a lot of people think, well, I just need to do personal development or affirmations or tapping or emotional work or energy work or meditation work until I can overcome this fear of rejection or what people think or going live online. And all of that is complete and total bullshit. That's a lie that fear tells you to keep you from moving forward, to keep you from taking action, because what fear knows is what I'm about to tell you. Fear dies. It dies and disappears and it becomes very quiet when you're in the middle of taking the action that it was trying to prevent you from taking. Okay. So one of the scariest moments when you go skydiving is actually jumping out of the freaking plane. <laughs> Once you've done that and you're free falling, it's happening. And you very quickly like start to adjust to what's happening and you're so in the moment of it, experiencing it. It's just like jumping off of a cliff right? Like if you're going cliff um, jumping into water, right? You, the, the most scary moment is the actual, the taking of the action. Once you've done that, you're, it's happening. You guys, you get to take action in fear to get rid of fear. You, you don't wait to not be afraid. Now, this is something I hear and experience a lot. There'll be people who message me and they're like, Hey, I've been following you for a while. I've been feeling so inspired to work with you. But I've just been afraid. Like I, I, I've been nervous to message you or I've been afraid to get started. You guys, that's normal and that's a common thing. And I want you to know that the fear doesn't go away. You take action with fear, like while it's happening. And oftentimes the things we're most afraid of, this is what I was going to say to you. Fear is like a big red light that's above the door you're meant to go through. And I'm talking about healthy fear, right? Like that nervous, excited, nervous feeling of like, I should go live or I should launch this program or I should go to that networking event or I should go to that seminar or buy that book, right? It's a nervous, excited fear. That's typically how you know you're doing the thing you're meant to do next. So rather than run from the fear, what if you used it as a sign that you're on the right path? The reason why fear shows up when there's a, a step that's the obvious next step is because it knows things are about to change right? We're hardwired like in the human biology part of us, the survival mode to fear change or to be hesitant to change or resistant to change or skeptical of change. So when your body feels inside of you, wow, if I were to buy this book or message Nancy Ray about coaching or comment on this post, that's like really speaking to me, things might change forever. Things might never be the same. And that fear that's like, ah, things might just change forever. And it, it's true. Like people, when they work with me, everything changes, right? The, the relationship that you've been really wanting, but partly afraid of. So you've been like trying to manifest, but also blocking happens and you're married and it's epic, right? Or the divorce that you've been debating about and wondering about if this is supposed to happen, it happens, right? People get in my space and stuff starts shifting. So it makes sense that they would have fear around it. So what is that fear for you? What is it right now that you've been feeling so called to do, so excited to do, but at the same time terrified to do so you're not, and you're just playing the waiting game, and you're, you're going to take action when you're less afraid, it's more convenient, and you're telling yourself all these stories. Oh, I'm going to tap on that. I'm going to meditate on that. I'm going to pray on that. I'm going to put that on my vision board until it's easier, and then I'll take action. <laughs> the message for all of you, fear leaves never. It just gets a lot quieter than everything else. You think when you're free falling, you're no longer afraid of free falling out of a plane. 
you're still afraid. It's just so many other things are taking up the space, like the awe of the beauty you're seeing, the experience, the rush of everything that's happening. Ah, ah, it's good. So kind of a tricky post, right? Because when does fear leave? Never actually leaves, but you take action anyways. You take the step with fear, and often that's a sign that you're on the right path. I love you all. Hey, Mickey. Hey, Lisa. Hey, Jamie. Yes, while you're in Phil Rochelle, I love you. All right, bye, guys.